you a couple questions about the exercise being coordinated today and uh, what some of the goals are. Okay. You ready? Yeah, I'm rolling. Okay, if you could please uh, just introduce yourself again and your title. Okay. And then talk about uh, what you have planned for the exercise. Sure. Uh, my name is Scott Keller. I'm the Homeland Security Coordinator for the North Central Region, which is the Denver metropolitan area, the 10 counties, and a couple of that. Uh, what we have planned today is an exercise we started planning about 18 months ago. Uh, put together a planning team. Uh, we now have over 107 different agencies and entities participating in the exercise. Uh, four venues where we have an active response going on. Uh, it's a response to a terrorist style attack based on uh, the events that occurred in Mumbai in India uh, not too long ago. Uh, and again, we're using those type of tactics and techniques to deal with because those are the, the cutting edge things that, that may occur uh, for a terrorist attack uh, anywhere in the country. Um, this is one of the locations here at Park Meadows Malls, uh, Parks, Park Meadows Mall. Uh, we also have a, a location at Community College of Aurora, uh, Denver Public School, as well as uh, Union Station, the RTD main hub in the metro area. And could you talk about some of the federal coordination, the different agencies involved, and what Homeland Security's role has been? Sure. Uh, this is a local local government uh, exercise planned. Uh, so basically, mo all of the responders, almost all the responders, are local government agencies, uh, law enforcement, uh, fire agencies, in addition to uh, your special teams, bomb teams, hazmat teams, uh, those kind of folks. We also have the state playing, obviously. Uh, they're going to stand up the state EOC. Uh, the FBI is involved. Uh, they'll be sending liaison officers to the sites. Uh, and again, the exercise is about the first you know, six to seven to eight hours of response. Uh, so in that case, uh, uh, you know, we would liaison. And at some point, because it's a terrorism incident, the FBI would have authority. How that transition occurs is one of the things we're, we're, we're working or looking at working through with uh, the exercise today. Sure. Right. We know Homeland Security has recently warned about uh, sports stadiums and they've ramped up security there. Uh, today we're here at a shopping mall. I know there's a stadium later today. Uh, can you talk about the shift from kind of airport style security to more public arena uh, and, and what might be behind that? Well, public arenas where people gather are often you know, looked at as lucrative targets by, uh, by potential terrorists. Uh, so, you know, we in the region, when we do our risk assessment, we look across the, the gamut of all of the types of facilities and uh, events that occur within the region and, uh, and look to try to assess and, and, and plan for potential responses for all those. So in this, in this exercise case, uh, we actually have a simulated hotel uh, over at one of the sites. We have a public school, uh, obviously a mall here, uh, and then a transportation hub. And again, that was by design part of the planning uh, to take a look at and, and deal with uh, the, the typical type sites that where something may occur, you know, God forbid if an attack did occur within the region. And uh, just more generally, what have we learned 10 years later from 9-11? Uh, are we seeing these responses in all major cities or is Denver kind of leading the edge on that? Well, I think that uh, the first part of your question, what have we learned? I think. I think that the, the real value of these kind of exercises is the collaboration and the cooperation between all the different local agencies and governments that occurs. Like I said earlier, we have about 107 different agencies playing and participating. Uh, 18 months of planning cause us to work together and ask questions and look at tactics and techniques and, and how we might respond and deal with things. Um, so I think that's the real value that comes out of uh, an exercise in general is, is that you work together, you go through it, you learn uh, about how things work and maybe find some things that you want to improve on uh, and, and build different processes to deal with that. Anything else? Oh, that's good. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you so much it. for your time. Right, guys.